Hi, this is Ron Hagen, and we're at Dallas Truck Show in August of 09 with Chris Gamble. Chris Gamble of Balance Masters, who makes the uh, mercury filled balancer for Pittsburgh Power. Uh, why don't you tell us about what this product is and does? Okay, Balance Masters is an active balancing device. It's intended to actually balance the engine while it's running. Unlike the standard damper that would be found on the front of most engines, those are basically there as a torsional damper. Balance Masters are intended to balance the engine, take the ultrasonic range of vibration off this engine assembly, and keep it in balance while it's actually running. Okay, and so where's the mercury? Uh, mercury is in, actually in a small rubber tube, a self-sealing bladder on the edge of every balancer we manufacture. This is one piece of material constructed to roll all the way over the entire edge, which keeps it totally encapsulated. The rubber tubing is actually intended as a self-sealing bladder. If you had an accident, cut or puncture, it automatically seals up the area so you don't lose any of the material. Okay, and you got them for Cat Cummins, Detroit, and anything uh, else? Pretty much, uh, we're covering as much of the market as we possibly can. These are the most common engines that are out there that are running that need a balancing system. Uh, we do have them though for as much as Harleys. We do clutches, engines, wheels, uh, aircraft props and engines, all of your uh, uh, truck wheel assemblies, drive shafts, spans, motors, bumps, machinery. But again, this this takes the harmonics off the engine. It helps take the harmonics off the end of the crankshaft. Yes. What this actually does is balances. It because it is a liquid material, it has the ability to absorb that vibration and redistribute it evenly so it never hits in any one spot twice. Okay. Now, if we left the vibrations on the end of the crankshaft, it would wear bearings and seals? Yes, it causes bearings to wear, and all that is is an up and down gravity movement that actually rubs the oil off the bearing surfaces. And once it's done that, the bearing starts to wear. If you keep it in balance, you actually stop that process from happening, and it allows a nice thin sheet of oil to run in that area consistently. That'll extend the life of the bearings and the drive shaft. Sounds easy to me. It's very simple. Well, what else good about it? It doesn't look like it's difficult to install. No, not at all. Essentially, all you're going to be doing is undoing the bolt pattern on your dampener. This can either mount behind the dampener or inside the dampener area. Uh, then you replace the bolt pattern on it and drive. It's an ideal uh, assembly to install when you're changing dampeners. That should happen somewhere up around a 300,000 mile range. Okay. So we use the same uh, same torque as um, as wh whatever factory torque is for the for the damper. Yes, it is torque to factory spec. So whatever that may be, according to the factory uh, catalog. Okay. All righty. Well, uh, guess that's everything that we know about it. <laughs> Thanks.